Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandana Banerjee and today we're going to talk about some simple work from home tips for military wife solopreneurs. Are you a military wife who believes that it is very difficult to make time for work, especially if you're working from home? With all the social commitments, the postings, the detachments or the tours of duty that your husband is off to and you're left with solo parenting duties, all of this leaves you with very less time to focus on your own career and goals. If you have ever felt that, let me assure you and tell you that you can very well work as a solopreneur from home and from any of the small areas or the small military bases that you are posted to. So let's get on with this video and let me share some simple tips that have worked for me in the last 14-15 years. Um, so let, here's a little bit about me. I am a solopreneur. I'm also a writer, author, artist, health coach and micro business coach. I'm also a homeschooling mom and I have been working from home exclusively for all my married life, which is more, about a decade and a half. Now, through all these different postings to very remote areas, I have found that there are certain things uh, which help in streamlining a work from home career and also juggle all the unique challenges that come with the military spouse lifestyle. I get it. We have a lot of social commitments. We have parties, uh, welfare meets, ladies clubs, and we also have VIP visits. And uh, of course, the postings and the sudden changes in uh, plans. So factoring all of this in, here are six tips that have worked for me. And I really hope that if you try even a few of them, that these will help you streamline your work from home lifestyle. So number one, mind your fringe hours. Uh, when I, what I mean by fringe hours is all those bits and pieces of time spread across our day. Time that we often neglect to use. We feel that if we don't have a chunk of time, like an hour or two at a stretch, uh, if we don't have a chunk of time, then we cannot work. But that is actually a myth. If you can grab the little snatches of time spread across your day, you will be able to get quite a lot of done, uh, work done. Some of the best ways to mine your fringe hours is maybe try to wake up an hour earlier than your family. And while your kids are sleeping or uh, when your husband is off to work, you can grab an hour of work before the whole day's uh, work and chores begin. Or maybe in the afternoon when everybody's resting, you can grab an hour or even 30 minutes of work time. Or what if you're a night owl, then what about uh, grabbing an hour of work or a couple of hours of work when everybody goes to bed? Even little 15, little pockets of time, like 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, See if uh, you can use that time to get something done, get something checked off your to-do list instead of maybe just scrolling through social media or being chatting with somebody on WhatsApp. My second tip would be create a rhythm to your days instead of a watertight schedule. Of course, if you're a totally schedule oriented person, then go ahead and use your schedule. But if you feel that a schedule is actually locking you in and uh, making you making your whole day spin out of uh, control, then uh, rhythm works much better. Why not a sh schedule? Because as military spouse, as a military wife, I'm sure you'll agree that there are so many things which end up in your day, which pop up in your day, which you didn't even plan for. So for example, you, you are sitting down to work and suddenly you get a phone call from your commanding officer's wife saying that you need to attend a welfare meet or that there's a, a VIP visit at your base and you need to drop everything and go there for the planning meeting. So when things like that happen, if you have a schedule and you have to cancel last moment, it, it can upset you, right? At least it does upset me if I have a full day's work planned and I have to drop everything for something else. So instead of that, if you have a rhythm where you chunk your days uh, as per certain tasks, and go with the flow, then you can actually get much more done. At least this is what has worked for me, especially since I homeschool a little boy, I homeschool my son, and I, I'm also juggling uh, my military wife commitments. So when I, am, uh, I have all these plates in the air, I feel that having a free flowing, I wouldn't say a free flowing, but a more flexible 
rhythm gives me more peace and can makes me more productive than if i have a very watertight schedule where i don't have any wiggle room my third tip would be make time for work now if you don't prioritize your work nobody else will now if you are a military uh, spouse you already have a plate chock full of commitments and social obligations and uh, work is something that you have to fit in between all of that and your housework and your postings and moves so make uh, prioritize your own work even if it is for a couple of hours a day even if it is goal based have a uh, put your dreams on your to do list also because if you keep uh, procrastinating or saying that you will uh, you know take up a so and so goal or you will take on a project only when your schedule is completely free or only when there is no social commitment for the next 6 months i think that would be difficult because we all know that uh, here our uh, social calendar is pretty full for most of us so prioritize your own work give it importance because if you don't then nobody else will in your community or in your family my fourth tip would be let your seniors in your unit or regiment or squad know that you work from home and that you have certain deadlines and that there would be certain days when you may have to prioritize a client call or a client meeting over a maybe a social obligation again you have to be uh, you have to think this through when you're speaking because every time if you just prioritize your work goals that won't sit very well with your uh, unit ladies as well so this is a fine balance which uh, maybe comes with time or with practice so it's a fine balance where there are where on certain days you prioritize your uh, work and on certain days you prioritize your social commitments and the so your military wife commitments my fifth tip would be let your clients know that as a military spouse you have social commitments which you need to give enough importance to if they know what your lifestyle is at least a bit about what your lifestyle is if some day you have to cancel a meeting or reschedule a meeting or you have to ask for a few days more to meet a deadline they will know what you're in for of course again every time you cannot change your deadline or push your deadline or every time you cannot uh, change things up you know or a slack off on your deadlines as well so like i said balancing your unit commitments or the uh, military or the military wife commitments and your work commitments it's a fine balance the more you do it the more the, the more you manage your time the more you learn to prioritize things the better you will get at it my last tip would be take care of your health when you're doing when you have so many plates in the air when you are you have your military wife commitments when you have your own family to look after and you have your own dreams and solopreneur goals to attend uh, to you have to make sure that while you're doing all of this you're also looking after your health i'm guilty of sometimes letting this ball drop there are so many times that i am so busy looking after all of these that i really forget to take let's say that break while writing on the laptop or you know i forget to stretch if i've been writing on the computer for too long and yes of course if we don't look after health there are days when you have to pay for it so take it from me prioritize your health too take time to slow down take time to indulge in some self care take some me time out take some time out to meditate do little things you don't you may not have a lot of time to do to devote to your own health and well being but even little snatches of time 5 minutes here 10 minutes there to do th- something to recharge your own batteries will actually help you in the long run i hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions about uh, launching or juggling a military wife uh, solo prana career on the move do uh, leave a comment below i also have a book which uh, was an amazon best seller last year when i released it it's called the work at home military wife you can find it on amazon i'm going to leave a link below do check it out it's chock full of tips especially created for the military spouse who wants to work as a solo prana and who wants to craft a pack and carry career and keep uh, watching the space 
I'm soon going to be releasing uh, an online audio and video course ex exclusively for uh, military wife solopreneurs. And uh, so do check out that when it's up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with friends and fellow military wives who might enjoy and benefit from this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.